Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Amy. I've been on a weight loss journey for the last couple of years following the starch solution and using the principles of calorie density and I've lost 60 pounds in the process. I wanna show you guys what I'm eating basically every single day to show you how I make this lifestyle work for me when life is really crazy, as a busy mum of two, how I throw meals together super quick and simple. I'm also a volume eater so I eat massive portions of food and I wanna show you how I do that weight loss style friendly. So I haven't actually filmed the last couple of days because I've had a backlog of footage um, and I just wasn't able to get out. I was waiting on something. Um, so anyway, I'm very, very excited to be filming again today just because I enjoy filming. I want to miss you guys. Um, oh, my Riverford order is here. Yay. Anyway, today... I'm about to head out the door. It's about 9.30. I'm about to run out the door um, to take Romy to a little like rhyme time group thing, which should be very fun. Although she is fast asleep at the moment. Um, I've just, when, when I dropped Abe off from school, I decided that I was in dire need of some more Oatly Barista because I've run out and therefore I can't have my warm carob in the morning. And you guys know I am still obsessed with carob. I'm just, mwah. and hopefully you guys have tried it out by this point because it's a game changer. Um, also, sorry, my hair is just like mental. Uh, anyway, I need to go get my Riverford order. One second. Oh, no. Thank you so much. Is that everything, yeah? Yeah, that's everything. Brilliant, lovely, take care. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, we've got grapes. Woohoo! Well, that's very exciting. I'm gonna dig into these babies ones right now. Um, yeah, so I've just walked to the shops um, and got some oat milk. And also while I was there, I found loads of organic ripe bananas. And you guys know I'm really into the banana ice cream stuff at the moment, so I picked up loads of those as well. And one mango as a special treat. So when you only eat whole foods, whole foods in a, of themselves become a special treat. Like when I when we buy a mango, I usually give it to my kids. So when I have a mango, that feels like a really amazing treat. That feels like birthday cake to me. Um, man, I need to go, but. I've also been doing some mega workouts the last couple of days. So I've been waking up starving. So I'm gonna shove this in my face and let... Mm. What else can I bring? Let's see. Okay, I've got some leftover potatoes that have been sitting out all night. Um, so this is my best option. When you don't have stuff prepared, you just eat what's lying around, don't you? Mm. Okay. I'm gonna grab a handful of these. And then let's go. I'm also going to bring Romy's porridge with her because she wasn't really hungry this morning. I know she's going to be starving when we get there because she's barely eaten anything. Silly rascal. <clears throat> I don't want to eat too many of these because I do want to have breakfast when we get back. And I'm going to be having ice cream because I froze loads of bananas yesterday. Mm. I also grabbed a pear on route as well. So I told you I've been doing a couple of intense workouts the last couple of days. So basically, I just realized that it's May and that the year is almost halfway gone. And uh, that is scary, it goes by very quickly, it's ridiculous. But <clears throat> the reason why that's relevant is because this year, I really wanted to focus on my fitness. Um, I feel like although I do get movement in every day, it's not enough and I want to really push my fitness um, further. Um, so I have decided to do a 30 day um, workout um, challenge. Um, I'm doing it over on Instagram, but if you guys want to join me on here, let me know. I think that could be super fun. I could film a little bit of my workout every single day. Basically, I want to gain a really good amount of movement and a, like a workout, I want to sweat every single day, sweat with intention, um, and I want to, and I want to really throw my all into it, um, because that's what I want to get out of this year, and the year's not over yet, it's never too late to start, and so I am starting now. I'm not waiting for the beginning of the week, beginning of the month, beginning of the year, or anything like that. I've just realized, I had a realization, and I was like, okay, I've got to do it now. So anyway, anyway, so let me know if you guys want to join this haul. I'm going to be doing a rebounding. I'm also going to buy some weights so I can maybe do some little bit of weightlifting at home and stuff. I'd love to go to a gym, but time does not allow that um, right now, and that's okay. So I'll do what I can. But let me know if you guys want to get involved. 
I've just finished rhyme time and on the way home, it is a beautiful day. Rami wanted to stop and just play with some leafies and sticks and stuff like that. So we're going to be practicing some mummy patience here while we walk home at a snail's pace. <laughs> at least Rami's having a good time though. We are back home playing and chilling in the garden because it is turned into an absolutely gorgeous day and I'm just very, very here for the sunshine. Um, and Romy just basically wanted to play in the stones, so she's just playing in the stones. Um, and I am having to be patient because I'm getting quite hungry. I really want to eat some breakfast, but Romy's refusing to go inside. So I'm going to let Romy play for another little while, uh, maybe like 10 minutes or something, and then we're going to run inside and I'm quickly going to get some food because I'm really getting ravenous at this point. I think it's like 11.30 or something. So I was thinking I'm probably going to be spending more time out and about, especially with it being summertime and with Romy being a little bit older. I'm going to be taking her out to different places, different activities and stuff um, throughout the week. So what I think I might start doing is I think I might get a bit more prepared and I might start doing a bit of like proper... Um, kind of food prep, mealy prep kind of stuff. Maybe basically just making a lot of breakfasts in advance or thinking of really quick and easy breakfasts. Um, obviously, I, banana ice cream is something I have to have while I'm here at home, so I can't really do that. So I need to, I might just do like um, an overnight or two minute oat series. Uh, let, me let me know if you guys want me to show you how I kind of put all that together. But yeah, I think I might just be getting ready to do a little bit of planning and a little bit of food prep properly for the beginning of the week um because otherwise i end up really starving when we're out and about um and uh, yeah not fun not fun at all okay a lot of screaming and phone conversations later <laughs> and now i'm ready to have some breakfast it's about midday uh, but i do have myself a lovely warm carob to keep me going and i'm so glad i've got that oat milk because this is just amazing mm -mm -mm. Anyway, right, so my plan is obviously chocolate ice cream. I froze some bananas last night, but I also loved when I made that granola and sprinkled it on the top last time. So I'm going to be doing a chocolate granola for my ice cream. So let's get the oven on. I'm going to be doing a double batch because I have a feeling Romy's going to steal some and or I also want to have some for later. So going in with two ripe bananas. Okay, let's quickly mash this up. Yeah. Okay, so I've added in a cup of oats, about three tablespoons of carob, and a splash of vanilla. And this is the amazing consistency we've got going on right here. Let's spread this out. <laughs> oh, have you got some hummus? You want to show everyone your hummusy fingers? You little hummusy chops, you cute bean. So I decided I was really hungry and therefore I needed to level this up and take it up to the next level. You guys know if I'm hungry and I want to be satisfied, what do I include? I include beans, of course. So I've gone in with a cup of chickpeas as well. And I'm hoping that these chickpeas get really crispy, like a crispy chickpea, um, but with the granola. And I feel like that's gonna be amazing. Like a good nut replacement in a granola would be some kind of beans. Mm. I'll let you know how crispy these get, but you could crisp them up in the air fryer first and then add them in. But this mix alone is amazing, obviously. Okay, so we have received our rib for today. Ron is just giving me a quick hand. What have we got here? Corn, shit. Oh my gosh. So we totally forgot to edit our rib for this week. And so I have got more potatoes. This keeps happening to me. It's like Groundhog Day. But uh, that's okay. We're going to eat a lot of potatoes. Uh, we always manage to get through it. So I'm not going to do a full grocery haul because I don't have the mental capacity for it today. But I'll show you briefly, briefly what I've got. I've got two big bags of potatoes. Loads and loads of courgettes. Got some grapes. That's the mango I bought earlier. That's not included. Uh, what else have we got? We have two things of mushrooms. We've got two lovely salads, four cucumbers, a purple cabbage, um, and cherry tomatoes and regular tomatoes. They're not giving broccoli at the moment. I think they must be out of broccoli. So I need to buy broccoli separately, which means we need to go to the shops tomorrow. And I'm thinking I might take Romy to the Indian shop so we can buy some more sweet potatoes and maybe some more plantain because that sounds delicious. Anyway, we're just going to pack all this stuff up. Oh my gosh, I should use these as my weights, shouldn't I? My God. Oh yes, and carrots, of course carrots. So I've got loads of stuff out of the fridge that needs using and basically we need to make a moussaka. I think instead of the cheese sauce for the moussaka, I'm gonna go like hummusy vibes. I'm gonna do loads of chickpeas. So it's gonna be like a potato-y chickpea cheesy sauce. And I'm here for it. I'm also gonna add in some mushrooms because I need to use those up. Mwah. Hello, Mrs. Attitude. Okay. It's ice cream time. Boom, okay. I'm very excited about this. It's now 12.30 because I've been on the phone for ages. 
I'm gonna finalize the sale of my business. And uh, oh my God, is it lengthy. Oh yes, we're gonna pop this in here, Rams, that's right. So I'm sorry about the dryer being on. Today's one of those days, you know when you just like feel like, when you, you know when you feel like life is um, endless. Every day you wake up and every day you never stop and you're just doing stuff all the time, constantly, but nothing, it's like, it's like a dream where you feel like nothing ever progresses, but you're always doing stuff. And that's how I feel these last few days. I've just been doing so much, but uh, yeah, there's always still loads of stuff to do. Anyway. There. However, I'm optimistic and I'm upbeat and it's just a bit of a, it's one of those days. Um, I am going to be doing loads and loads of bananas. I think I've got about six bananas worth. I think I've got about six bananas in here that we're gonna whip together real quick. Actually, I was gonna put some chickpeas in here. Maybe, maybe I should put some chickpeas in here. Yeah, this, this, this is meal one and two. I think this is going to also be lunch. So I'm gonna make it a big one. So let's put a couple of chickpeas in first. Very chatty today, but in with a couple of chips we go. And to blitz these up first because if these hit the frozen bananas, they're not going to blend up properly. So by themselves first. Yeah! Yay! Okay, now in with the bananas. Whee! Okay, so this is the granola, and oh my gosh, it tastes amazing. Obviously, you could add extra sweetener in there if you really wanted to, but I don't need it. Okay, here we have it one high protein chickpea chocolate fluffy ice cream goodness oh my god why do i not put chickpeas in more often do you want it rums what do you think mm, thanks okay so this is what i have got partially dug into but i tell you what this is amazing this is, I can feel how satisfying it is already, but the granola and the crispy chickpeas in the granola are incredible. They are such a great texture. I highly recommend you try it out. Mmm, it's amazing. What a cool discovery you could make on a random day when you weren't planning on it. Mmm, but I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be stuffed after this. Is it yummy? Mmm, could have a kill. Mm -hmm. Romy's always up for food. So I was gonna go out for a beautifully sunny walk, but then the skies opened and the rain came down and now it's really disgusting and I'm wearing a jacket. So yeah, English weather is just crazy. Um, anyway, um, oh, I'm actually pretty stressed today because I've got a lot going on and I'm just not feeling like super motivated. And uh, you know what? This moussaka is not my friend this week. I've roasted all the aubergine and the, I wanted to put courgettes in there as well. So I've roasted the courgettes as well. But the idea of like making the sauce and assembling it is overwhelming and scary to me. And I don't know why, that sounds ridiculous, but we need to have meals that suit our frame of mind. If we are feeling stressed and overwhelmed and, and ridiculously busy, we need meals that can complement that, that are simple and brainless. Those are the kind of meals we need, and that's the kind of meal I need today. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna think about something brainless. I think it's gonna involve some potatoes, because I've got a lot of potatoes. And it might just be potatoes, broccoli. It might just be simple. But you know what, that's okay sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, I might save the moussaka for tomorrow if I have any more brain power. But um, yes, just being honest. I guess that's the great thing about this way of eating and about uh, losing weight this way, is it doesn't really matter how easy or how complicated you want your meals to be. It can still be fantastic for weight loss. You can spend ages making something and you can make it look out of your density. Or if you don't want to do that, you think that's a pain and you don't enjoy being in the kitchen, sometimes actually the most simple meals are often better. Um, because you're not like overstimulated by stuff. So keep it simple sometimes. Remember sometimes just take it back, to, take it back to basics. And just remember food is just food. You don't have to try and eat like a kid. My kids love just like different things on a plate that are separate. I spend a lot of my time forcing my kids to have like a meal that's more complicated. And I just come to the realization, I don't know why that is. Actually them wanting to have food simply 
is beautiful and that's really lovely and maybe we ought to take a page out of their book and um, not the other way around. Anyway, just thought I was having, we're keeping it simple tonight. It's the kind of afternoon where my brain is all over the wall. It's been, uh, it's been crazy. I uh, told you I don't have the mental capacity for anything complicated, so I thought I would just do a quick little quinoa salad for the kids. I'm not quite sure what I'm having. I might go potato salad, not really sure. But basically, I just whacked quinoa, carrots, cucumber, avocado, tofu, and actually a substantial amount of chopped little um, salad leafies in a bowl for Abe, and he's gone crazy for it. He loves it. For the dressing, I just did nutritional yeast, um, soy sauce, a tiny splash of maple, and some lemon juice. Um, and he's asked for another bowl, so I'm going to make that for him now. But I'm very pleased because I put loads of leafies in. Mm, so it's just been a long, long day and I am so not in the mood. I've got zero motivation or energy to make anything. Even just to steam broccoli feels like an effort. So I'm not going to do that. And instead I've got a different strategy because I do still need to eat food. But sometimes in life it's okay to keep it hot, darn simple. So that is what we're gonna do. So let me show you my plan. I am going to have carrots because I'm in the mood for carrots. I'm going to have cherry tomatoes. I'm also going to have this entire cucumber. That is going to be my fresh element. And then for my not fresh element, I'm just going to have these potatoes. I'm not even going to heat them up. I really, I'm not in the mood for food. Today is just a day where food is fuel. And I know it's not been an exciting day food wise. And that's fair enough. Um, but not every day is an exciting day, food-wise. Sometimes I wake up super invigorated and I want to try creative stuff. Sometimes it's just about getting some food in my face so I can crack on and do some stuff. Now, on YouTube, most of the time you see food that is really exciting, well-prepared, and, like, you know, it's, it's a really good day for that person when they're having their day of eating. That's why I'm trying to show you guys almost, I know not every day, almost every day of my eating so I can show you the days that are tough as well so you guys can see on a tough day, I don't just have my face in a bowl of, you know, Ben and Jerry's ice cream or something. That's not the fallback option. You guys don't have to have that as your fallback option. Your fallback option, when you have no time and you can't be asked to make any food, can just be to put fresh stuff on a plate, have any leftover starch. I've also got some chickpeas I could add and just eat it. And that's enough. Okay, here we have it. Here is my very simple, but very delicious and incredible low calorie density, healthy feast. All those things I mentioned, I'm gonna start with my non-starchy veggies. Once I get through those, I'll move on to my starches. So I'm still applying the same principles as always to a very lazy and simple meal. Anyway, I'm gonna go and dig into this and give my babies a bath simultaneously. I told you guys I was gonna be doing a workout every single day for the next 30 days to get myself back into the workout groove. So today is no exception. I am not in the mood for a workout. I am knackered, my brain is crumbled into a tiny pile on the floor, but I'm still gonna do it. And I think it's gonna lift my spirits and lift me up. And it's one of those things, sometimes you're not in the mood for a workout, but you never regret a workout, do you? Anyway, it's a little bit late, it's like 10.30. And so after this, I am gonna hopefully go to bed, but I am just on San Fran Fitness's website and I'm gonna choose a little workout. Um, I have been doing, the last couple of days, I've been doing some really intense ones uh, with them. And I, yesterday I sweated buckets and it was amazing. So I think I'm gonna do just like a nice 20 minute one. I did, I've been doing 40 minutes. I'm gonna keep it 20 minutes tonight, just cause uh, I know my limits. Um, but I'm doing a nice intermediate and uh, yeah, let's do it. Let this be an invitation to you guys to get a little bit of movement into your day. It doesn't have to be in the form of a workout. It can be going for a walk or whatever. Uh oh, oh man, that was a killer workout. 20 minutes doesn't sound long, but wow, you can really get a lot done. I am sweating head to toe. It's funny, at the beginning of a workout, I always feel like, Oh, this is so easy. I'm not going to be tired. I really want to be pushed today. And then by the end, I'm like, 
<laughs> I could barely breathe. But anyway, that's exactly what I needed, exactly what I wanted. And I found myself, <clears throat> she did like little breaks in between um, the sets and stuff. I found myself just pushing through and just wanting to continue and do more of what we were doing and um, not opting for all the breaks. So that's fantastic. It's amazing how your mindset can change in 20 minutes. Uh, working out is good for the mind not just for the body um anyway <clears throat> i am gonna go to sleep now um and um i will see you guys tomorrow for hopefully a much more relaxing and chilled out day oh fingers crossed